The CW is a polarizing network and often the talk of the TV landscape from fandom to the media. And though the network is mostly known for Riverdale and superhero television today, it's been an influential force in pop culture for 16 years. While the CW certainly isn't the home of prestige television, it is and has been the home to the kind of shows that garner a lot of buzz in big fandoms. The world of transformative fan works is large, but CW shows have carved their own corner with the fan art and fan fiction inspired by their characters and universes. This list of 23 best CW shows of all time isn't necessarily about quality, which is often subjective, but about the series that have made a name for themselves or offered something different than what's ever aired on TV. Kicking things off is All American. It's not often that the lens is turned to a young black teen in the land of television, let alone one who is a part of a majority black cast. And yet the CW has found success with Spencer James's story on the network. All American follows Spencer as he navigates life as a star athlete, looking to uplift his community with him once he reaches his dream of being in the NFL. It's a sleeper hit for the network that has spawned a spinoff in All American Homecoming, making the two shows the only sports dramas to find an audience on the CW. Much of this has to do with All American's attention to family, community, activism, and the relationships at the core of the show that fans have fallen in love with, such as Spencer's romance with the budding journalist, Olivia Baker. Number two, Arrow. If you've ever wondered why DC TV is referred to as the Arrowverse on the CW, it's because the success of Arrow spawned the spin-off series the network is known for, such as The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, and more. The most famous billionaire playboy in the DC universe is Bruce Wayne, but Oliver Queen also knows a thing or two about putting his money where his fist is when it comes to vigilantism. Donning the hood of the Green Arrow, Oliver made it his business clean up the streets of Star City. Arrow leaves behind a legacy that shaped the CW as the premier home for superhero shows on network television. Number three, Batwoman. This Arrowverse series, to the surprise of everyone, switched leads after the conclusion of its first season. When Ruby Rose left the role of Kate Kane, Javicia Leslie stepped in and became Gotham's new Bat, Ryan Wilder. By virtue of having a different lead, this show captured a new energy, though it maintained the same heart with a Batwoman driven to do what's best for Gotham and its people. Though short-lived, the series maintains a strong fan base from those who tuned in for Kate to viewers drawn in by Ryan. Batwoman was the first live action TV series about a lesbian superhero, and under Leslie's tenure, the first about a black lesbian superhero, which set the show apart from its Arrowverse predecessors. Number four, Black Lightning. The CW has trafficked in a lot of firsts, one of the most notable being the introduction of Black Lightning into their superhero lineup. Prior to the show's premiere, the CW's hero block was white. Yes, people of color had prominent roles in the majority of the series, but as for who the shows were centered on, they were all white leads. Black Lightning broke from the pack in that regard. Following the life of Jefferson Pierce, played by the formidable Cress Williams, the series put a black family at the forefront of the story. Together with his daughters Anissa as Thunder and Jen as Lightning, and through the begrudging support of their mother Lynn, Jefferson strove to make the lives of Freeland's people better. Black Lightning struck a balance between heroism of all kinds and the work everyday people put in to do better and bring change in the world around them. Number five, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend was probably the most oddly placed TV show on the CW, given the network's propensity for superheroes and dramas. But this rom-com blend of musical numbers and satire found a home on the CW nonetheless. Rebecca Bunch's story harkened back to the network's comedy days of yore, when it wasn't uncommon to find shenanigan-filled series in the lineup. As such, the show stood out as it worked through its lead's unhealthy obsession with her ex from camp, despite it being years since they'd both been in high school. Through humor and show-stopping performances, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend explored topics of romance, love, intimacy, mental illness, and the effects one's home life and rearing can have on their personality and ability to function in the world. Number six, Dynasty. The CW took on a huge task with a series like Dynasty, which is one of the biggest primetime soaps on television in the 80s. Naturally, fans of the original went in with low expectations. Whether the new take on Dynasty exceeded or underwhelmed those expectations is no one's business but your own. But the reboot has personally far surpassed the usual trappings of a reboot. Dynasty follows the business and personal affairs of the Carrington family in Atlanta, led by the headstrong billionaire Blake and his determined daughter Fallon. 
Featuring an ensemble cast that's infamous for casting shakeups galore, you won't find soapy drama with a sense of humor this good anywhere else. Seriously. Number seven, The Flash. The Arrowverse is, of course, named after the show that started it all. But for some fans like myself, The Flash is the beating heart of the CW's DC universe. Much of that feeling has to do with Grant Gustin's turn as Barry Allen and the Flash team as a whole. It's a feel-good series, even with the grief and tragedy the characters are often working through. As fans, we qualm and quibble over the direction of the writing, especially when it comes to the writing of Iris West, brilliantly acted by Candace Patton. But when it comes down to it, this story about a young man who's suddenly endowed with the power of speed has been a comfort to many of us. It's no surprise why The Flash is one of the most beloved shows in the CW's history as a network and a fan favorite Arrowverse series. This show's long running stay in our hearts has been quite the journey with more to come. Number eight, Gossip Girl. Back in the late aughts, Gossip Girl was the it series of pop culture. No matter where your opinion landed on the show, you were talking about it. Detailing the lives of the rich and wealthy teens of Constant Billard and St. Jude's, the show had teens bubbling in excitement over what new scandal would hit the Upper East Side next. These were kids that fashioned themselves as royalty and expected due deference from their classmates and the world around them. While that didn't translate as well in the latter seasons, once the bubble of teenage youth popped for Blair, Serena, Nate, Chuck, and Dan, the show retained its off-the-wall storytelling, culminating in a series finale that left audiences scratching their heads and cracking jokes about the long-awaited Gossip Girl reveal. The series is old enough to have a reboot with a new cast of Upper East Siders, but no one will ever forget the OG. Number nine, Jane the Virgin. Many a romance has been spun on the CW, but the network had been void of a rom-com until Jane the Virgin. Its ridiculous premise, which saw its titular character become a pregnant virgin with a rich former playboy baby daddy, despite her being very much in love with someone else, warmed many a heart during its run. The series leaned hard into its telenovela roots, embracing comedic turns full of laughter. It also told a story about love in all of its facets, from family to romance to everything in between. Romance loomed large and all-encompassing on Jane the Virgin, with love triangles abound and second chances steaming up the screen. But the series was also a family drama, and it was made better for its attention to the bonds each character had with each other. Number 10, Katie Keene. Yes, Katie Keene was a one and done in the CW, but that doesn't mean it wasn't one of the best shows to ever air on the network. Bubblegum pink with a sugary heart and an eye for fashion, Katie Keene embraced ridiculousness. It's not that Katie, Jorge, Pepper, and Dozy never ran down the streets screaming like their darker counterparts from Riverdale and Chilling Avengers of Sabrina, but more so that their screams were bellows of laughter. As the lightest show in the Archieverse, Katie Keene sparkled, but it did so with a firm grasp on who the characters are. Shenanigans ensue, there's a bucket load of drama, ill-advised romantic entanglements, drag shows, plays, scamming, hidden wives, and more. In Katie's Pink Apple, fantasy comes to life, and with it, so too do her dreams and those of her friends. Number 11, Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow had a rocky start when the series made its debut in the Arrowverse. Prior to this ensemble that show, DCTV on the CW consisted of hero-focused series that centered on a singular lead. The legends were essentially the B-team. Hero or villain, it didn't matter to time Master Rip Hunter when he recruited them. He needed to stop Vandal Savage and avenge his family. So he looped Sarah Lance, Captain Cold, Heatwave, The Atom, Firestorm, Hawk Girl, and Hawkman into his mission. Over time, as the team welcomed new members and bid farewell to old favorites, Legends of Tomorrow's odd duck status evolved into a badge of honor as the lone through and through comedy in the airverse. This time traveling wonky show with heart made fans laugh, smile, and not feel so alone. It also helped viewers embrace their own differences and the qualities that make them special. Number 12, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew is the kind of series that hooks the viewer with its mystery, but keeps them watching for the characters. While it's influenced by shows that have come before it on the CW, it also stands on its own two feet. It's a Nancy for a new generation, one that's less all shucks, but still embodies the detective spirit for finding the truth of what's happened to the people and places around her. This iconic and well-beloved character has been given a fresh story with CW's brand of drama. Hershey Bay isn't just a fog-filled seaside town where things go awry. It's where the supernatural and the ordinary vie for dominance. Like All American, Nancy's show is a sleeper hit on the network and it spawned its own spin-off, Tom Swift. Number 13, The Originals. The Originals were the case of a fan favorite character and his family getting a spin-off that launches into a success. 
Klaus and the rest of the Michelsons made their stamp on the Vampire Diaries, but they left Mystic Falls behind for New Orleans French Quarter in their own show. It was the perfect setting for a series that brings vampires, werewolves, and witches under one fold. The originals took the family drama the Vampire Diaries was known for and dialed it up to 11 with an impending birth that raised the stakes when it came to Klaus reclaiming territory and trying to temper a war brewing between the factions. The series was so popular that, like its predecessor, it spawned a spin-off known as Legacies. Number 14, Rain. Yes, Rain, the CW's lone world television series, is on this list. Say what you will about this anachronistic retelling of Mary Queen of Scots' life, it made for entertaining, swoon-worthy television. Basically, the CW's TV 14 version of the kind of historical drama that would air on a network like Showtime, i.e. The Tudors, Rain brought political intrigue to the channel as well as court dealings, nefarious mother-in-laws, womanizing kings, and an ill-fated love story for the ages. Love and life hung in the balance on Rain, as scandal and rumors of forbidden romances surrounded everyone. Number 15, Riverdale. Arguably the most talked about show on the CW today, Riverdale has been the face of the network outside of the Arrowverse since it grew in popularity after its first season run. The crime thriller that occasionally moonlights as a musical takes viewers to Riverdale, the town with Pep made famous in the Archie comics and its spin-offs. But unlike its source material, the show isn't all love triangles, high school romances, and malt shop fantasies. Riverdale might as well be murder capital USA for how often serial killers run free in the town. Its aesthetic is a vibe and the neon is always lit to perfection, but in the shadows lies more of the secrets than most can handle. No wonder it's garnered such a loyal audience and a couple of spin-offs. Number 16, The Secret Circle. Out of all the shows on this list, The Secret Circle is likely a controversial inclusion considering its quality, but it's a personal favorite because witches. The Secret Circle took viewers to Chance Harbor right after Cassie Blake lost her mother in a tragic accident. Unbeknownst to her, however, is the fact that she's a witch. A powerful one meant to close the circle started by the children of her mother and father's former coven members. Of course, there's intrigue and complicated romances, an interfering bad boy by the name of Jake, family secrets, and a heavy The Craft influence. The Secret Circle had a lot of the same ingredients as The Vampire Diaries, it just didn't have the staying power. However, that doesn't mean it wasn't one of the best shows to air on the CW. Number 17, Stargirl. Stargirl's position on the list of best CW shows is due to its plucky protagonist who's won the hearts of Arrowverse fans and its storytelling that's earned the show positive reviews by critics. It's also the first teen-focused DC TV show on the CW and was a welcome sight when it premiered. The success of Stargirl has already ushered in new teen superhero shows in the CW and will likely continue to do so. Courtney Whitmore is after all billed as the inspiration for a new generation of superheroes. Her fight to keep the world safe, just like her adult counterparts, and to gather her own team under the banner of the Justice Society of America is a compelling story as she grows not only into her powers, but also in her role as a leader. Number 18, Supergirl. Personally, I had my problems with Supergirl, but it doesn't change the fact that Cara Danvers is one of the best characters on the CW. Supergirl's inclusion on this list is largely because of her, as well as her sister Alex and Lena Luthor. Some of the most compelling hours of television came from this show. It didn't always stick its landing when it came to timely topics it wanted to cover, but the show tried. Supergirl is a woman-oriented series, and it's also the first Arrowverse show to be led by a woman. It proved that a female-led superhero show could be successful on the CW and draw a devoted following. Over the years, the series drew criticism from fans ranging from the choices of romantic partners for Kara to Lex Luthor taking up too much of the story. But it still stands that Supergirl is and always will be one of the most impactful series on the CW. Number 19, Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois is ushering in a new era of DC TV on the CW. The series, which follows its titular characters as well as their twin sons, Jordan and Jonathan, is both a family drama and a superhero show. It's a balance that works well for the series that set itself apart from the rest of the network's lineup despite loosely being tied to the Arrowverse. In the coming years, it wouldn't be surprising if Superman and Lois turns out to be the best superhero show that aired on the CW. Much of that is due to the chemistry between Tyler Hecklin and Bitsy Tulock, who play the iconic Clark Kent and Lois Lane, as well as the story surrounding the character's family. Superman and Lois has budget and flashy fights, but it also has heart. That's what's keeping people tuned into the show week to week. It's also why it's one of the best shows on the CW. Number 20, Supernatural. 
Supernatural is the CW's longest running drama with a total of 15 seasons. Dean and Sam Winchester had a mighty strong hold on the network and quite the impact considering the show's success likely ushered in an age of paranormal television shows on the CW. Without Supernatural, there'd be no Vampire Diaries or any of its spin-offs. The tale of the Winchester brothers, which had them tangled with demons, angels, and other supernatural creatures, is so beloved because it's a story about family at its core. Like all shows, Supernatural did have its drawbacks, from a problem with bridging female characters to fans, creators, and cast members arguing about the validity of Destrial, which later caused a storm of opinions once the series ended. However, it's also much beloved by its fan base and created a community that was many fans' first entry into fandom. And it finally spawned a spinoff with The Winchesters. Number 21, The Vampire Diaries. Whether you were a fan or a critic of the series, this teen paranormal drama had a strong hold on pop culture when it was in its prime. The story of Elena Gilbert, a teen girl dealing with the death of her parents and her brother Jeremy retreating into himself in bad choices, is a fantasy involving feuding vampire brothers, their self-serving ex Catherine, and more drama than a group of people should be put through. Addictive, over top, and with a body count that should have drawn the attention of every authority in America, The Vampire Diaries wasn't solely a moment on the CW. It was an era. One that spawned into two spin-off series, The Originals and Legacies. Number 22, The 100. The 100 dropped viewers into a world where humanity was on its last leg. The survivors of a catastrophic event on Earth had been living in a space station for nearly 100 years, but that station was failing, and its only hope were 100 delinquents sent down to Earth to see if it was viable. Among them was Clark Griffin, the Princess of the Ark, whose clashes with Bellamy Blake, a stowaway who endangered the life of the Chancellor, to be reunited with his sister, could spell disaster if they couldn't work together. Of course, that was if the Earth's inhabitants didn't kill them first. Surprise, people had been living just fine on the planet without intruders who'd fallen from the sky. The 100 took its audience on an extraordinary journey that opened its world to a thriving culture and people, put its characters through an extreme amount of trauma and stress, and more catastrophic events than should be possible. But I'll warn you, the ending wasn't good. However, it can't erase the show's position in pop culture or its status as one of the best sci-fi shows ever to air. And last but not least, number 23, 90210. It was a difficult task to reboot a widely adored classic television series, and the CW's brazen attempt to do so by taking a stab at Beverly Hills 90210 was nothing short of Herculean. The reboot centered on a new group of troubled Beverly Hills teenagers who would go on to feud, trade partners, fall on deserted affairs, addictions, and all of the afflictions that befall adolescents in the famous zip code. When the Wilson family moved from Kansas to California, it was a culture shock that shook up not only their lives, but those of their new friends and frenemies too. While some may be rightfully loyal to the CW's crown jewel teen drama, Gospel Girl, save a seat for 90210. For five seasons and 114 episodes, the series delivered unmissable, sudsy greatness and effectively ushered out the era of unadulterated teen soaps. 90210 was an oft-forgotten hot mess masterpiece and one of the best CW shows in the network's history. As with anything, there may be a difference of opinion, so feel free to share in the comments which shows you feel were overlooked, or tell us about the new CW shows you're hoping will one day be considered some of the best on the network. Not included on this list are shows that aired on the WB for more than one season. So no, we did not overlook One Tree Hill or Smallville.